This is a 60-year-old Korean fight. Three, three new rounds in now. Fighting out of the blue corner. We got to go to four. Jamie the Haymaker, hey, here with EM16 Butlin at I16 and South Shields. On to our next bout, Ian. Yeah, we have Nasa Mary in the red versus Salman Tarik in the grey. Nasa Southpaw. Salman, conventional orthodox, comes out the jab. Playing for a power bomb there. Yeah, but. <laughs> Where the real takedown goes to NASA. Yeah, gets dragged down there, does, uh, does Tarek. Into side control now. Oh, he armbar. looks straight for the armbar. Very, very fast. That's a really nice armbar switch. Well, great work from Tarek, though. Yep. And dragged into the uh, almost into the full mount himself. Very frantic start from both guys here. Ian. Yes, again, another slam, though, from NASA. Needs to drag him away from the side of the cage. Tarek looking a little shocked there for the start of the fight. Yeah, I don't think he expected that armbar switch there. He was from a very strange sort of side control position, sort of jumped over, didn't he, for it? Yeah, he did. Look, NASA doing the right thing here, moving him away from the cage. But there, brilliant turn. Excellent work there from Tarek. We go for a but look for NASA, ag now. NASA again to get another one of those slams. Yeah, there we go. To expect them now, isn't he? He certainly is a straight side control, knee in. He's kept hold of that head though, he's got to watch for, uh, for the choke now from the side, from the bomb flu. But he's oh. got his uh, head back and he's got, a, he's got that guillotine on pretty tight there. Head popped out though for Ian. He certainly is a bit of backwards and forwards action attack from both guys. Nasser with the takedowns though and more control. And a brilliant hammer attempt early. Yeah, it was, it was a really nice attempt. Like I say, he, he didn't have it quite above the elbow though. And it was good work from uh, Tarek to sort of swing out of that one and stand straight up as well. Yeah, certainly. Nasser again. Trying to drag him down. But yeah, he'll keep going for those legs and try and get another slam. But how many more of these can do? They're very draining. Well, this is it. They, they, these takedowns are going to be extremely uh, tire, tiresome on, on Nasser and Mary here. You can already see he's starting to slow down now a little bit. Yeah, he's, not that, he's still going for that ankle pick at the back. He's trying to drag through, which he has done, and tries to go to side control again. But uh, Tarek grabs the, the leg, goes back into, into guard now. Great underhook control there to stand up. Beautiful work for Tarek. Jab. Oh, two big shots there. It was a jab, but followed by a sort of long uppercut. Forces NASA to again tack the legs. Squeezing on that on that neck there, trying to stop that takedown. He's down. really cranking it, lifting up as NASA drops to his knees. He's really going for that guillotine. Yeah, I mean, like I say, you know, this end of this round, I, I, you know, I want to see how much. Uh, Nasa Mahari uh, has took out of him there because he used a lot of takedown attempts. He seemed to really sort of slow down. And quite a the tight end. guillotine there, I think, at the end. Yeah, but I think he really slowed down towards the end of that round, didn't he? With the, with the, uh, the amount of takedowns that he went for. Uh, and, and Tarek looks you know, a little bit fresher at the minute, I think, Ian. Yeah, I think he does, yeah. Yeah, he certainly needed recovery time there. Like I say, a lot of takedowns, a lot of energy exerted from, uh, from Nasa, but. Let's see what Tarek's got in this second round now. Big size difference at this weight. Oh, big overhand left there. Yeah, got touch glove. And and oh, but he got caught with the uppercut there. Tarek swinging uppercuts. He's Both just swinging to the fences now. Tarek finding those uppercuts from his hip. He's going to go for another guillotine there. As he's going for this single leg takedown. He's not in a great position to finish with a, with a guillotine from there, though. Listening to his corner though, listen to the words 
from his corner, Ian. Yeah, the instruction from Ant Hopper, senior instructor. Trying to go for that. Trying to, trying to drag that arm off there with the underhook. Again, a lot of energy being exerted from, uh, from NASA here. And it really is. It, it, you can see it will be tiring. Great slam again. You know, he has got good takedowns. Yeah. And Tarek definitely felt that one. He's turned, he's turned his back a little bit. He's kept hold of that head, but he's got to be careful because he can Again, we've give seen this back. already. Good work there to switch it round. Side control there. Go for that head again. I'm just going to see another takedown here. He's going to pull them legs out, I think. You know, there's a lot of energy being exerted from uh, from NASA, like we've said. But I think um, I think Solomon Tarek's also exerted energy with the, with them guillotine attempts that he's going for. You know, the, it's not a great position to, to to be going for a guillotine from there, standing up up against the fence. It's a tough one to finish with, isn't it, Ian? Yeah, it really is. It's, it's, it's very, very hard. And again, you know, especially when you get slammed on your back every time like that. Which I think, I mean, NASA controlling where the fight is with these takedowns. So I'd like to even now sprawl out a little bit here. He's got the pressure over the head, so if he can sprawl out there, he can maybe turn to, turn to take the back of, uh, of NASA. That looks a little bit tighter, that guillotine this time. Well, it, I think as well. every time it's getting a little bit tighter and a little bit tighter. If you can turn that elbow down and get. Oh, it. now that is much better, that guillotine there. And he sees that and drops down for it. Yep. Good work from, from Tarek on this one. Yep. This is a much better attempt. And you can see Nasser there feeling that and, and dropping to his knees. But he's doing the right things there. He's put, got his hands broken up the grip. Great defense there from Nasser. But he still continues to. Oh, that's a nice knee. It is. Great to the face of, uh, of Tarek. Oh, he's leaving himself open for the knee again. Both guys noticeably tired here. Yeah, all, I mean, all, although there's been a lot of pressure from, from Nasser Mahari up against the KJ, I think Tarek's done some good work. He, you know, he's been going for a lot of submission attempts and he's thrown a lot of shots. <laughs> You know, he's, he's thrown a, a, a barrage of knees so far in, in this fight, and he's, you know, again, still probably looking the fresher of the two towards the end of that round, Ian. But hell of a lot of takedown attempts from uh, from Nasser Mari there. Well, we've got one more round. Let's see who can take this now. The third and final round now, Ian. Here at I-16. Been a tough fight for both of these guys. Very slow start to this round. Not much happening as of yet, Ian. No. Tentative start to the last round. Both, you know, been in bad positions. Neither oh. wants to be there again. Oh, good shots there. Solid shots from Tarek. He's definitely, I think he's stepped in though and allowed the takedown there though, the takedown attempt. He should have kept his, uh, his, his range a little bit more there. But beautiful shots from Tarek there. Yeah, really were. Nasser's corner, corner for that takedown, just trying to try drag him to the floor. There we go. Both guys looking quite tired at the minute though, Ian. Yeah, both very, very tired. Close to exhausted. I mean, look at, you know, Tarek looking over to his corner, breathing deeply. Yeah, referee uh, disengages them there. He's ready to go again. Watch out for NASA, has got, got to avoid these punches. A big shot on the way in there. And Tarek got caught on the way out, but that's it. You know, using a little bit more distancing. It's probably the way forward, isn't it? Yeah, Tarek trying to sprawl the takedown, but Nasser incessant gets the turns the corner, takes him down. Absolutely, yeah. I'd like to see him probably work for them, them under up from there, but now he's, he's let that go. So it's Nasser's in the driving seat, and this one now going to side control here, Ian. Going to put that pressure in on side control, up against the fence. Very tough position to get out of now. 
I think Nasser will be happy enough to just uh, sort of put the pressure on here and keep him, keep him pinned down. Good work though from, uh, from Tarek to get back up to his feet there. Going for that ankle pick at the back. Yeah, Tarek trying to chop in. Yeah, he's dropping shots. some shots, but I'd like to see him try and push, really get the under up there and try and put and push away. I saw a dirty foot stomp there from NASA. Horrible. Horrible. Oh, look, both guys are so tired that no, neither can really just get that that little bit of edge that they need to try and get, pull away the round. Yeah, he's not long left this fight now. We'll go to the last 10 seconds here, Ian. Yeah, and it's going to go to the judges' scorecard, this one. So like, your thoughts on that fight there, Ian? Oh, a great effort from both guys. Both guys put in every single thing they had. But for me, Nasser was getting the takedowns, was controlling where the fight was, defended the guillotine well. I think um, that's definitely a win for Nasser.